What's up everyone? This is me Mehdi Shakil here and you are watching my YouTube channel SS Tech Tutorial. So guys, today in this video, I will show you how to create your own DNS server or domain name server using your Raspberry Pi 3 board. And using that custom domain name server, you can keep your internet free from any kind of advertisement. When you browse internet, there is a lot of advertisement that come in videos and also in website. But after using that, you will not get any kind of advertisement on your internet. So guys, without talking too much, let's get started. Don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe my YouTube channel, SS Tech Tutorial and stay connected with my channel. To build this PyHole ad blocker, you need to have a Raspberry Pi 3, B or B plus motherboard. In this video, I am using Raspberry Pi 3 model B. And also you need a Raspbian OS installed Class 10 SD card. If you don't know how to install Raspbian OS, then you should watch my video about it. Ok guys, now power on your Raspberry Pi and make sure your Raspberry Pi is connected with your network. For this, you can use Ethernet or Wi-Fi. I am already connected my Raspberry Pi to my network via the Wi-Fi. Ok guys, now go to your computer. Now you need to log in in your router admin panel. Then from the DHCP option, you will get the IP address of your Raspberry Pi. Add reservation of that IP address only for your Raspberry Pi, so that your Raspberry Pi IP will not change if you restart your Raspberry Pi or the router. Now we have to access our Raspberry Pi via the SSH service. For this, I am using this party SSH program. All the software link and device link I will put down in description box. So check the description. The default Raspberry Pi credentials for SSH is Pi and Raspberry. Ok, now we have access on our Raspberry Pi terminal. To do some configuration of Pi hole, we need to have root access on our Pi. So type this command to get it. sudo su and hit enter. Ok guys, now open up your browser and go to pyhole official website, pyhole.net. Now from here, simply copy this command and paste it on your Raspberry Pi SSH terminal, then hit enter. Now it will start installing and set up the PyHole DNS on our Raspberry Pi. Now you can see here it will updating the local cache, then it will update the Raspberry packages. It will take some time so you need to wait for it. When you get this screen, just follow the instruction and hit enter. Now this time you need to select your service which you use to connect with your router. Then from here, you can use Google DNS or Open DNS. I use Google DNS. Now keep it at it is. Then here, select the IP version. Then it will ask you to install the PyHole web admin panel on your Raspberry Pi. So just hit enter couple of times. Ok guys. Now our configuration is ready to install the PyHole. You can see now it's downloading the PyHole from GitHub and installing and update the requirement packages. It also will take some time. So let it do it works. When the installation is completed, you will get this screen. Here you will get some info about the admin access URL and the admin password. Note down this PyHole admin password for further access. Ok, now our PyHole Raspberry Pi ads block DNS is ready. Now let's try it. Let me visit any website which contain ads. For demonstration, I am using Yahoo. Let the browser load the site completely. Here you guys, you can see here some ads on this page. Now let's see how you can take use our PyHole DNS here. 
go to your adapter setting then right click on your adapter which you use to connect through your router i am using ethernet now go to properties and select the ip configuration properties and from here select use the following dns server address and type your raspberry pi ip address here and hit okay and close now let's again reload the website on browser okay guys now you can see here the ad is gone now you will not get any kinds of ads on your internet now let's remove the dns and see it again load the ad or not go to ip properties and remove the pihole dns ip address and now reload the website again and here guys the ads comes again it's really work guys to make you sure about this project let's use the pihole dns again repeat the same process see guys it's working now let's visit the web admin panel of pihole dns take a new tab then type here the raspberry pi ip address slash admin and hit enter and guys here is our pihole web admin panel from here you can see how many ads are blocked the queries and the log files also you will get many more features on this pihole net like website blocking and whitelist click on login and here use the password whatever you get from the last step of installation now you can see here i logged into my pihole admin and from this option you can add website to block list and white list on your network so guys that's all for today i hope you like this video and enjoy this video if you really like this video and enjoy this video then please give a thumbs up to this video and share this video with your friend and if you are new on my channel then please please do subscribe my youtube channel and don't forget to press the bell icon to get all the latest upcoming video tutorial notification i am nadi shakil you are watching a stack tutorial and i'm signing out